I'm just gonna go over this 2020 and uh, show everything that's been done to it. I know I've made a lot of videos with cams and exhaust setups and stuff like that, but uh, here's a more detailed overview of everything that I've done since I've gotten it. Um, so the original video, I did do these aftermarket headlights with the clear reflectors. Since then, I did put the chrome bulbs in there so that there's no amber reflector at all. Um, I did the wiper delete, which I made another video on as well. Get rid of those, give them more sleek race car look. Had the uh, windshield replaced as well, since it had a big crack across the whole thing. Safe light came out and did it, and I got the OEM glass with the pony. Didn't want to get any uh, aftermarket junk. Nothing near the rear other than the um, repair on the third brake light. I had to crack, so I glued it together and put the, uh, the film over it that Anchor Room makes, which I also did a video on. And the shorty antenna. That's pretty much it exterior-wise. Then uh, there's some more goodies inside and then under the hood. So inside here we have all the polished knobs, polished rings on the cluster, AEM wideband gauge, e brake handle, cup holders, did the vent, the AC knobs, and also replaced the uh, dome light assembly and uh, upgraded to new LEDs as well. That finally worked because I was having a problem with them for a while. So let's check out under the hood. All right, so most of the work to the car has been done performance wise and under the hood. So uh, you can see here, I got the polished and engraved Terminator radiator cover, the polished tanks, which I bought stainless steel and polished by hand, the JLT battery cover, all the uh, polished and chrome caps. I got both valve covers on and the Ford Racing coil covers, the oil cap, fuse box cover, uh, strut tower caps. Upgraded to the Mr. Chrome JLT short ram intake with an AMS oil dry filter on it from the uh, red JLT oiled, which is an SNB, so I want the AMS oil dry flow. Put the polished Acufab plenum and throttle body single blade on there as well. Ported Stegmeyer Eaton with a uh, 2.8 upper and a four pound lower. Has the CompCam Stage 3 cams, which I do not believe they make anymore. Has the BBK long tubes with the BBK off-road H-pipe, Borla Stinger cat back, and adjustable clutch cable with new Steeda Quadrant and a McLeod twin disc RST clutch. So, a lot of work done into this. Um, last time when it was dynoed, it was in the dead of the summer uh, while it was getting tuned. I believe it was the sixth pull, and it put down 550 at the tires and 526 foot pounds of torque. So, uh, if we go for some new numbers in the fall on the first run, Nice cool day. Uh, I think we'd get some some pretty impressive numbers for a uh, essentially stock motor car with bolt-ons. So just a lot of little upgrades like that keeps the car subtle, keeps it looking pretty stock, but it's powerful, looks good. Take it to car shows, just cruise around town, and uh, moves real good. Also got the Moroso brake fluid cover as well. So let me know what you guys think. If you'd like to see anything else on it, any other videos of the Cobra or the other two cars. And I hope you guys enjoy it. And keep trying to find these Mr. Chromes and keep them in good shape.
fly cruising in a Cobra that's cammed with long tubes, no cats, and a boiler stinger exhaust. It's loud, it rattles, it shakes, and it's awesome.